Okay, for Mother's Day, I'm going to just tell a story off the cuff. Uh, try to relate it to Mother's Day if I can as an extra challenge. So I'm using my random word generator. Random word generated here is plug. Plug, the word plug, P-L-U-G. Okay, let's see what I got. Thank you now. Plug. What do we got here? Plug. Plug. Mom. What about mother's plug? Okay, um, got something, getting something. Huh. All right, let's just let's just go with it. Um, baby proofing. Okay, so you know when you're a new parent, especially you believe essentially in the myth that it is possible to baby proof a house. Uh, it is not. Um, but what you do is you go out and you get um, various things at the um, baby proofing industrial complex is more than ready to sell you. Uh, so one of the things is you, you can baby proof, baby proof, um, electrical outlets because babies, once they get mobile, like you're, you're, you know, idyllic if you've had one infant period is, is kind of over. And then you're basically constantly playing goalie, you know, you're a goalkeeper. Uh, basically the goal is the entire world and you're keep trying to keep the ball, which in this tortured uh, metaphor or analogy, uh, simile, whatever, one of those is your baby. And you're trying to keep your baby out of the dangerous aspects of the world. And um, it, it really is like that because once babies learn to crawl, they are very curious and, you know, you, you can easily imagine because it tracks with the reality you're starting to experience a baby, you know, basically wanting to put an electrical outlet in its mouth because that's one way they explore the world. They, they like to touch it. They like to and their hands are wet so you could get shocked that way. And, you know, you don't want to you, you don't really don't want to lose your infant, um, you know, that early in their life. Uh, actually, you never I said that wrong. You don't. You never want to lose them. But anyway, you. Um, so you get these outlet things that you know you have to. They're like hard even for adults the first time around. Then you have to kind of use the plug to kind of pull this guard that snaps over the holes to defeat the the safety feature so that you can plug something in. So you do that. And um, you get various things. You get these gates that go like we had, you know, the houses that we've had have always been two stories at least. And uh, sometimes there's an attic. Sometimes the attic is you don't want to go there. Sometimes you do. Um, in that two houses we've had, you have stairs, first floor to second floor. And babies love to climb stairs, uh, particularly our our oldest child, Noah who was our first, you know, uh, goalkeeping assignment, would, would it, it love to climb. You know, once he got mobile, it, walking, crawling, whatever, uh, he, he loved, like, if you didn't know where he was, I, at one point, uh, we couldn't find him, and I got the idea, We I looked out the back door, and he had gone out the back door, he might have been two or so, uh, and he's sitting, he had somehow managed to climb on top of the car, and he's sitting on the roof of the car in the back of the driveway. So this was Noah. He's very into climbing. Um, and so he would climb up the stairs regularly. But the thing is, once they're, you know, a ways up there, that they're, they're a falling hazard to themselves, you know. But they don't, they don't really think that way. They're just like, oh, this is cool, and they're going up. They don't, they re don't really think about the down climb, as climbers call it. So you got to think of that. And, and so you buy these gates. And, and, and you have gates at the bottom and you have gates at the top. 
and you need them in both places. They're like, you know, scissoring gates and you can latch them across the bottom of the steps and across the top. And they're high enough. They're like, you know, four feet high or so. So a, a kid, an infant has no way to, you know, he was good at climbing, but he, he wouldn't climb a gate. He would just give up and, you know, go look to scale something else like a chair or the dining room table maybe, but um, which we'll come back to. But the thing is, you know, so you do that, you you have to close up the bottom so they don't go up if they're down. And you close up the top so that they don't go down and tumble if they're at the top. Makes sense. Um, but what, what happens is after a while, you kind of lose your focus because the kids are, they're very, you know, these, these soccer ball type kids, they're always, they're, they're more, they're just, they have they're they're better than you are in the, in this game and so you let your guard down eventually and what inevitably happens is you leave the bottom gate open cuz you figure you were upstairs the kid couldn't get down but the problem is you leave it open when you're all downstairs and then you re it's like where's the kid and you realize and you look and inevitably he's climbed like two thirds of the way up and you've got the top gate closed so he can't even get you know like off the stair hazard so now you've created a kind of a death trap, which you can you can undo that feature of by just going up quickly and retrieving the kid before he falls down. And that happens a lot. So the gates become a trap or you, you leave the bottom gate closed because you were down. But now you're up and the kid's up and now he can sort of maybe do a little down climbing or something. He's like he's looking and there's no gate at the top. And it's you just you end up completely messing that up. So. Baby proofing is a myth, um, you know, so and and then there are things you can't baby proof to get back to the chair and the dining room table. I mean, what are you going to do? There's not a store that sells you a gate that prevents that you put around a chair. I mean, the world is just too big. There's just too much, too many variables. And so you just have to be on your guard. And they're really there's no way for you to win this game. You just you hope you break even long enough so that, you know, then the kid like graduates high school. Thank you.